All right, so it's been a couple years since I filmed a curling with a curling wand tutorial and I've gotten some requests for an updated version. So I thought I would do that for you today. So the hair inspiration behind this tutorial is from Elizabeth Olsen. Um, she is, I believe, the little sister of Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen and her hair always looks really cool and casual but still curled. Um, so this is sort of, I was looking at photos of her the other night on Pinterest and I'm like, she's got really cool loose style hair. Um, I'm going to try and get that effect with a curling wand. So that is um, the inspiration behind this tutorial, but it could also just be a plain curling with a curling wand look. The reason I'm redoing it is because the original that I filmed a couple years ago is much tighter curls and things have really softened up and loosened up over the years. And also my hair has gotten quite a bit longer. So um, I thought I would show those of you that have longer hair than what I started with, um, I think it was back in 2012. Um, this could be uh, a little bit helpful for you. So the wand I'm going to be using today is by Amika. It is the 5P interchangeable wand curl barrel curler. Um, so it doesn't have the traditional clamp that you see on normal curling irons. And it is interchangeable because it comes with a variety of other sizes that you can click on the base and use. So it's kind of essentially like getting five different curling irons in one unit. What I love about this iron so much is uh, it tells you the exact temperature you're working with and you can adjust it. So if you have a smaller barrel on the end and you don't want as tight of a curl, all you need to do is play around with the temperature, turn it down a little bit, and you'll get a much softer, looser curl. Um, if your hair is particularly resistant and you need extra heat, just turn that heat up. Got a hair on my eyelash. Um, so I love that you can play around with that. A lot of times flat irons or even curling irons or curling wands just come in a standard heat, which is like all the way max hot. And more often than not, unless you have particularly coarse and resistant hair, you just don't need the max heat. So save yourself a little bit of damage and get the same effect on a lower temperature setting. So that's my favorite part. And you can see the actual degrees in there. So that's cool. Um, so this is the wand I'm going to be using. This is the largest barrel that comes in the kit. Um, because my goal is to get very soft, loose waves. I'm starting with hair that was blown dry last night and slept on. So I pulled it into a high ponytail on top of my head, but this is what I'm left with. So you can see my natural texture is straight. Um, it's a little bit, it's not stick straight. It's got a little bend in it, probably from putting it behind my ears this morning and having it in the uh, elastic overnight. But this is what I'm starting with. So if you're starting with freshly blown dry hair, it should look about the same. If you're starting with curly hair, a curling wand is great to just like freshen up the curls closer to your roots or soften up some around the face. Um, so any products I used on my hair after it was towel dried for a little bit was a quash uplifting foam at my roots. And then I used the Kevin Murphy anti-gravity oil-free volumizer. This comes, I'll grab it. This comes in a little container like this. So um, you squeeze a little bit of it into your hand and run it throughout. It's great. I really love it. I've heard a lot of great things about the Kevin Murphy products, so I was excited that they sent me a couple to try. Um, I haven't. I tried the shampoo and conditioner, and I'm still sort of feeling that out. Um, but this I love. I've used this for several days now, and it's a great bodybuilder for like mid shaft to ends of your hair. So you wouldn't want to necessarily put this right at your roots because it might be a little bit too heavy, which is why I like using an aerosol foam volumizer at my roots, and then a creamy bodybuilding sort of bulk enhancing product mid shaft to end. So that is what I'm starting with here. It is easier to work in smaller sections with the curling wand. So go ahead, if you have medium hair, divide it in half. I would say I have medium hair. If you've got particularly fine hair, you probably just need to divide it in half as well. If you've got really thick hair, you may need to divide it into a few more sections. So I'm just pretty much taking half of my hair and we'll pin it up out of the way. Start on the bottom and finish with the top. So you need to be really careful when you're working with the curling wand because your hand that's holding the hair is going to be a lot closer to the barrel than it would in a traditional um, spring barrel curling iron. So make sure you don't burn yourself. Um, you always want to wrap those first sections away from your face. So place the wand as close to your roots as you can so you get a nice spiral throughout. Wrap it around and hold it there for a couple seconds and then you'll just drop it straight down. So this next section I'm going to pull toward my face just to give a little bit of variety with the curl. 
you want to make sure you hold the section of hair you're working with pretty flat. If you end up twisting it as you wind it around the barrel, you're going to get a little bit of a different shape. The flatter the section is, the more uh, symmetrical the curl will be. And now I'll alternate and go the other way. So once you've added the soft waves to the bottom, let that top section down and finish doing the exact same thing. So once you're finished curling, it's time for my favorite part, and that is using texture spray. Um, I did a post recently uh, looking at, I think it was like six to eight of my favorite texture sprays, ones that I've tried and just sort of gave a recap on what to expect from each of them. My all-time favorite is the Amica Undone Texture Spray. Um, it is just the perfect buildable texture spray. A lot of them can be a little bit too heavy and end up feeling waxy. Um, but what I like is this doesn't feel like that at all. You can add more so you get a lot of bulk and grit, or you can just do like a light mist over everything and you have just the right amount of texture. So once your hair is um, curled with the barrel curling iron, go ahead and add a little bit of texture spray. I like to just sort of lift sections and work it in there. Like I said, if you're new to texture spray, maybe just start with a little, see what you think of the feeling of it because you can always add more, but it's really hard to take it out. You 
want to make sure you work the product in the middle of your hair and don't just put texture spray on the surface because you want it to add bulk from sort of the underneath part. So you can see that fluffs everything up. Um, with soft, beachier waves, I'm finding that I'm liking a lot more of a flexible hold hairspray because the hair kind of continues to soften as the day goes on. Um, surprise, surprise, another Amika product. This is like, this has been the first time in a long time since I've loved a multitude of products from the same line. I usually pick and choose different things, um, but their touchable hairspray is great for a really soft hold. I still love Kenra Volume 25 if you need a firm, never moving again hold. That's also layerable, you can do a light mist of that, but this is not going to give you a strong hold, but it's not supposed to. So if you don't have to deal with humidity or your hair falling out or anything, this would be a good one to look into. You can sort of reshape the curls as you're spraying. And then there's your final look. So using a wand curling iron versus a traditional um, clamp curling iron takes a little bit more time until you get used to it. Once you master it, I think you can really fly through um, your own head of hair. But if you have heavily layered hair or a lot of flyaways or something, a clamp may be better to look for just to kind of hold everything in place. If you have long hair or you don't have to, um, you don't have a lot of layers cut into it, a wand curling iron is great for getting those really soft casual, like almost just bent waves instead of hair that's overly curled, if that makes sense. I hope you enjoyed this hair tutorial. If you want to see any others, be sure to visit the smallthingsblog.com.